Hey there, Libra. <clears throat> How are you? How's the family? I hope everybody's doing all right. This is just a general message. Take it if it fits. If not, it's just entertainment anyways, guys. You might have to vice versa the rules. Cross watchers, you're welcome as long as you have good intention. We're going to start with woo, the energy oracle. All right. Right off rip. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is your crown chakra. Your intuition. This is the high priestess. Notice the book of secrets that she's holding here. I think you have a lot of information in your brain, Libra. You're very smart. Um, I feel like you did a lot of research in your time. Like a lot of research. You've learned a lot. You might even journal. You might journal. It could just be a dream journal, but still. Um, something about a, a vision board. I, I hear about vision boards all the time, but I've never actually done one myself. But something about a vision board right now. Maybe you want to create one. Maybe I should. <laughs> right? Maybe you've already got one and you're about to cross something off. You're probably keeping it to yourself right now, though. I don't think you're telling a bunch of people about it, okay? Yep. But you've got what it takes. you got archangels surrounding you. You're very protected. Willpower, crown chakra, orange and purple. What is that? A five changes, nine wish fulfillment. Yeah, the change is you have a wish fulfillment. It's no longer a wish. It's actually here. We do have deceit. All right, we've got that karmic energy. This could just be your shadow. Could be somebody around you. Um, I really feel like there's something that is not what it seems, and you know that. So you're not going to get ugly about it. You're not going to get low vibrational about it. You know what I mean? You're like, nope, I'm just going to sit this out. Look at her. She looks like she's, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Like, I know better. I'm not going to react like an idiot. I know you want me to. It's petty. Maybe a little bit funny, but... Honestly, not really. A little bit. We do have 369 here. So this is a natural unfoldment. 25 breaks down to uh, 7. Yeah, this is an obstacle. For some of you, maybe you're not... Maybe you feel like you're lying to people because you're not telling them about this. I don't think that's the case. And if somebody makes you feel like that... That's their own narcissistic, like, it's not their information. It's your life. You know what I mean? You don't have to go telling everybody everything that's going on. You don't have to let them go through your journal. You know what I mean? That's toxic stuff. Nobody should be on a need-to-know basis like that when it comes to somebody else. Only themselves. I feel like this person might need to be put in check, but I think if you are doing it, doing that you're just no you're not <laughs> you're like no I'm just gonna walk away maybe you do put them in check but you know what you're classy about it I'll give you that Libra you're classy about it yep we had envy come out yeah this person is super jealous peanut butter and jelly um yeah Ooh. this could also be a beautiful balance between your higher and lower selves very yin yang, right? As above, so below. If there were blockages in these chakras, you are absolutely clearing them up. This one here is actually the sun in her hands. That means everything's being illuminated. I do. I feel like something is not what it seems. So you're not going to get irate about it. And there's going to be some people that are like, Oh my gosh, I just got so upset about that. I guess I should have listened to you, right? Or or maybe there's people that are telling you, you should get so mad, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like pissed off that you were right and they were wrong. Because like, God forbid that ever happens, right? I mean, what, are we human or something? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see what the tarot wants to add for Libra. 
Peace and thank you. The Four of Cups. Yeah, this person's just unhappy with life. It's like they can't see themselves where you are. Therefore, you're not allowed to be where you're at. <laughs> and you're just like, um, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I feel like this person is, um, they're throwing a fit. Okay, and they're not very classy about it. This is somebody that would look like an absolute lunatic and not care how they look. Like, they don't have that that level of self-respect to keep their shit together, to not lose their mind on somebody. You know what I mean? This is somebody that will... I feel like this is somebody that's looking for a fight. Or, like, they're trying to create a bone to pick with you. So this could be somebody that's nitpicking you or they're trying to dig in your information to find out what's going on. See, you already know not to tell this person, so you're not telling them. Your intuition is going to outplay them at their own toxic game. Because you're not even playing the game. That's how you win. You're like, no, I know you're up to something. I don't want any part. I'm just going to walk away. Remember, we had walk, walking away here. Yeah, because you're walking straight into abundance. And it's your intuition that's guiding you. Yeah, because that door to your intuition, to spirit, is wide open for you. Yeah, and there's angel of balance. I was talking about that balance here, right? So there's a method to what you got going on. There's a strategy. Again, there's that vision board. And another archangel here to back all that up and make sure this victory comes through. There's an archangel guarding your victory. It's no longer the devil card standing in the way of your victory. It's now being guarded and protected. This is absolute. I feel like this is a victory that no matter what, it's going, yeah, look, and see we have yin-yang. I told you, the balance. There's a little bit of light in all of us. There's a little bit of dark in all of us. And it can be very potent either way. Some people are very nice most of the time. But in the moments where they're not very nice, they're like really not nice. You know what I'm saying? That untapped energy can be very potent. But I feel like you've balanced yourself out. Maybe you weren't happy with the way you were showing up. So you did a lot of work on yourself. And now you have angels helping you to do that. Or maybe there are people around you that are these lower versions of this energy. And you're being protected from them and their crap, right? You're even, yeah, I feel like you're being protected from going back to your old ways or going back to these kinds of people. Because this is a whole species. Like, people like this are a whole vibe, and it's not the kind of vibe that, like, this shit's going to fuck up your mood. You know what I mean? And nobody needs that. Nobody wants that. And it's really sad to watch this person go through that, but, like, it's their choice. They made it. Yeah, Queen of Swords, you see it. You're the visionary. You know things, and you're equipped with your truth here. You're cutting this person out and walking away, or you're cutting out this behavior and walking away. Like, the old me's dead and gone, dead and gone. Yep. Oh, 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 a bunch of cards just fell. Um, Ten of coins, eight of wands. Yes. There's that legacy coming in. Longevity, income, finances. There's the empress. There you are, Libra. Queen of swords and empress. Yes. And this completion with these fucking ugh, gossipy people, it's just done and over. This completion is also something that these angels and your ancestors and the people around you, your friends and family, they're going to be so happy that you're closing this door. You're growing, you know, and they're watching you. Some of them are helping you. Others aren't. And it's so very obvious at this point who is helping you and who the fuck is the problem or at least a part of it. Look, there's that six of wands. Again, victory. 
It's at the bottom. Overall energy. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is this victory. That's another one for the jar. And you know what? It's launching you forward. Some of you guys are going through an ascension process right now. And you have brand new energy because you just closed out a cycle and you're starting a new one. So be very picky and choosy who is around you for obvious reasons. And I think you are. I really think you are. I don't know if you were questioning this person and that's why this reading is here for you. Or if you were questioning if it was, if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, being guided to go ahead and cut them out. Even if it's your own family, yes. If they're this toxic for you, they're not good for you. <clears throat> you should never force yourself to be around people, even if they are family, if they are not healthy for you. Period. I don't give a fuck who they are. If they can't be healthy for you, they need to go. Just like a diet. No excuses. Not until, you know, binge day or hour or, you know, depending on if you're fasting or if it's an actual diet or whatever. Right? Because I know a lot of those diets, you get to, like, you have to eat certain things on certain days, but then you have to go without it for all these other days. It's interesting, like keto and carbs and shit. Anyway, so you could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus. We definitely could be dealing with another Libra. We've got Taurus, Capricorn, <clears throat> Leo. Taurus again, Aquarius, and Scorpio. A lot of Taurus and Libra, which is uh, Venus. Y'all share Venus. And Divine Feminine Energy. That could be what's clashing, the Divine Feminine Energy. We have Love is All Around. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. That's a five, two. So this could be changes, something you're getting back into. Or something that you're just noticing more often. Whether it's personally or just in general. We have take a chance on love, which is also a five. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Oh, you know what that is? Because 41 breaks down to a five. That's five, five, five. There's a tower moment here, Libra. There's an unexpected or all of a sudden energy attached to this message. Hmm. All right, and then we have love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So, like, you're still going to love this person. You still care about them, you know, but if they're not going to be loving and kind to you, then it's just time to pull back, you know? You know when to walk away, Libra. And you know that when you walk away, you're walking right into that blossoming abundance. So it's like... I mean, you can come with me and be a part of this if you want, or you can be a miserable fuck and sit it out. I mean, it's up to you. Do you want to go have some fun or not? Like, are you going to be a party part, uh, a party pooper? Because that's up to you. Yeah, because Libra is doing something with, with, them, with their life, <laughs> for real. You might be wondering where all this is coming from. That might be unfolding later on, too. Anyways, um, if you guys want to go ahead and get your questions ready, I'm going to give this a couple more shuffles. Oh, they're, they're already trying to come out. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. Four. Ooh, tower moment for sure. You hear that? I don't know what that was, but it was loud. Um, if you need more time, go ahead and pause. <clears throat> Answers for Libra. Please and thank you. 
Answers for Libra. We have Compromise. I think I just saw 1313 or maybe it was 1513 on the timestamp. I can't really tell. But lucky number 13. Um, look for a sign. Not the right time. Trust. We have no. Ask from help. Ask for help from others. We have don't stop. Don't stop, get it, get it. Every time I pull that card, I hear that song. <laughs> uh, and no need to worry. At the bottom of the deck is forgiveness. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.